Hey there, it's Walt. There was a fascinating article in the Wall Street Journal recently reflecting on the fact that an increasing number of mid-career professionals from 40s to 50s to 60s were leaving their jobs and their careers in droves to recreate lives that had deeper meaning and purpose connected with them. That they were having what we used to call midlife crises, and instead of going out and having an affair or buying the Ferrari, they were actually engaging in deep work. They were seeking out opportunities for mindfulness and meditation. They were seeking out retreat opp uh, opportunities where they could take some time away and reflect and go deep on what they really wanted to do with their lives. And this trend I see in the work that I do, I help many mid-career professionals pivot from things that have not brought them joy and help them to create the work and the life they love. And the numbers of people that I'm seeing have increased over the years, which is not unusual, I suspect, because what's true is as the career spans for many of us have increased, as lifespans happily have increased, as health and wellness has increased, the, the length of our careers has become extended. And more and more we come face to face with that question, is this really what I want to be doing with my life? And I was remembering that powerful quote from Dante in the middle of the journey of my life, I found myself in a dark wood with no clear way out. And I think what's true for many of us, if not most of us who are thoughtful and introspective, we do come to those places in our lives where we ask those big questions. You know, at the top of Maslow's hierarchy of meaning, at the top of that pyramid back from Psychology 101, you know, after we've had all of our baser needs met, uh, safety, security, financial, um, housing, all of those base needs, at the top of the pyramid, at the end of the day, the thing that we most crave is meaning and purpose. We want to make a difference in the world. We want to have a sense that what we're doing matters in the world. We often crave legacy. We want to make an impact, a dent in the universe, as Steve Jobs once said. We, we crave that. And so often in the course of our lives, we lose connection with that. What happens is that we get caught up in the day-to-day -day minutia. We get caught on a hamster wheel. I had a secretary years ago who said, Walt, you're like a hamster on a wheel. And it wasn't a compliment. It was true. And so many of us get caught on that wheel. We get caught up in the daily minutia. We get caught up with the emails and the text messages and the notifications and alerts. And our lives end up like being some bad replication of Bill Murray's Groundhog Day where we wake up and everything's the same day in and day out. It just, it looks the same. Sean Aker had a wonderful phrase in his book, The Happiness Advantage. He was uh, the happiness dude from Harvard who I think went to Yale. He said, in the middle of the course of our lives, so often the cognitive horizon of our lives begins to flatten. Just the horizon begins to flatten and it all looks the same. And we lose touch with what it is that we really, really want in our lives. And so opening up that time and that space to ask and answer those deeper questions. I think this trend of not getting the uh, Ferrari or having the affair is probably, it's probably a better trend is more resourceful to actually step out, to slow down, to ground ourselves, to ask ourselves those deeper questions, to get in touch with those things that matter most for us. You know, I 
I think that it's easy to get lost and not entertain those questions, to go missing in the action of our lives, to go missing in the busyness. Brene Brown says it's easy to convince ourselves that if we stay busy enough, the truth of our lives won't catch up with us. And yet the truth of our lives will always catch up with us if we don't stop long enough and look and take a hard look on what it is we really want. It often takes um, a tragedy like the death of Kobe Bryant um, to smack us upside the head and say, wow, life is short, life is precious, life is unpredictable. Now is the time, this present moment is the time. It's the only, only moment we really have. And so as the Wall Street Journal, Journal article um, suggested, it's resourceful to stop, to take some time out from time to time, to go off on a meditation retreat, to take some time, some real time away from the daily grind, from where we tend to get lost, and ask ourselves, what matters most? What do we really, really want to be doing with our life? and actually recognizing that we have the power to co-create these amazing gifts that are our lives and to make them our masterpieces. We may find ourselves in the middle of a dark wood, in the middle of our journey of our life in that dark wood where it looks like there is no clear way out, and yet I can promise you that there is. So long as we take the time and come into that uncomfortable place and entertain those deep questions and step into the power of co-creating the work and the life we really, really love. Make it a great rest of the day. Great rest of the week. Talk soon.